Yes, I don't want anything to stand in the way of this afternoon's meeting. How are you going to vote about buying the stock? Well, last night I would have said no, but... That's because you were mad at the film busting. But we saw almost all of it. Yes. I think I'm for buying it. See you at the meeting. Mm. Oh, Ralph, I'll need some pecans. Soft shell. I'm going to bake Mr. B a pecan pie for his dinner, his favorite. Okay, how much? About two pounds. Little Harold likes them when he comes home from school. <laughs> no, wait a minute. I've changed my mind. I think I'll bake him a Brazil nut pie instead. <laughs> That's just what I thought, Fred. I can't thank you enough. I'm going to hurry home and stop that meeting before they throw their money away. And now, ladies, you've had time for leisurely reflection on the stock, and I'm sure you've reached a mature conclusion. Uh, but before the ladies vote, uh, Hal, is there something you'd like to add? I would just like to add that uh, my mother, bless her soul, put her life savings into this stock. <laughs> Thank you, Hal. And now, Madam Chairman, I turn the meeting back to you. Would someone move that the Sunshine Girls Investment Club purchase 150 shares of Brazilian Opportunities Unlimited? Stop the meeting! Stop the meeting! Stop the meeting right now! Mr. Baxter, you are out of order. We're about to vote on buying the stock. But you can't do that. These men here are... Sergeant at Arms, eject that man. Who, me? Oh, Madam Chairman, I can't do that to Mr. B. Can he stay if, if he promises to keep quiet? How can I keep quiet when these men are out and out? Mr. B, I've asked you to talk to this club, and you always refused. You said we had to make our own decisions when it came to investments. All right, now I'm ready to talk. I am sorry, but you are still out of order. Laurie's a terrific politician. Before we vote, is there any discussion? The chair gives permission to Miss Hazel Burke. I would like to discuss something with Mr. Howard Porter. Yes, yeah, so what would you like me to discuss, Miss Burke? Brainwashing. Uh, brainwashing? I, I don't know anything about brainwashing. Well, let me put it this way. Maybe you'd give us a little discussion on uh, sub subliminal perception. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Well, maybe Mr. Gordon here would freshen up your memory. I've got a terrible memory. Can I have a glass of water? No, you can't. Hazel, would you mind telling me just what goes on? Mr. Baxter, you are still out of order. If I have to tell you again... Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Oh, I thought you'd never get here. Mr. Porter, Mr. Gordon, I want you to meet Mr. Richards. He's from the Better Business Bureau. Where we have rather stringent rules against your sort of operation. You crumb. Thanks to Mr. Parkins, I have all the evidence I need here. So if you two will just come along with me. And now, I'd like a nice round of applause for a swell detective, Mr. Charles Parkins. And if it wasn't for Mr. Parkins, we never would have discovered we were subliminally perceptionized. They were doing it with a travelogue. Mr. Parkins found out when he went down to have the film spliced after it broke. Well... I guess I owe you an apology, Charlie. <laughs> oh, that's all right, George. I still owe you $150. Well, that's all. Well, you can pay me when it's convenient. Thank you, George. Oh, uh, I'm going to need a little to live on until I get another job. <laughs> all right, Charlie, I'll help you out. Madam Chairman. Yes, Hazel. Now that Mr. Parkins has saved us from making a terrible mistake, the agenda is over, right? That's right. Well... Now, Mr. B wanted to talk to us before, but he wasn't in order. But maybe now he'll make us a nice little talk on investments. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Don't be nervous, Mr. B. I'm not nervous. Well, hurry up and make the speech. The girls have to be home pretty soon and cook their dinners. Sunshine, sunshine girls, sunshine girls, here's your recipe. Save a dough, make it grow, and end our slavery. And end our slavery.